I developed interest in knowing the religion, the religious practices of my Muslim neighbor, uh, a San undergraduate uh, in England, uh, when I was doing a course on Islamic civilization. So on the completion of my uh, graduate work and then I did a postgraduate work, the urge sort of intensified. So I came back as bishop. When I became bishop of Sokoto, I began to understand the need for some sort of understanding between uh, the Muslim Ummah and uh, the Christian community. The Kaduna Center is a very important initiative and I would like to salute His Grace um, Bishop uh, Ido Ferron for the initiative. Um, not just because he's a cleric, but because he's thinking like a development person and strategically, and he's looking at the challenge, you know, facing our community from an interfaith perspective. You know, the vision of the Kaduna Center is really to um, ensure that we have a resilient community of human beings who are able to work and live together across faith that we recognize and affirm the humanity of each and every one of us, that we recognize that peace is a commodity without which any other commodity cannot be possible. The second strategic thing he's done is to locate the center in Kaduna State. Of course, um, His Grace is also part of the um, Kaduna Peace Commission. He's actually chair of the commission. And I think it's, it's a strategic place, Kaduna, because Kaduna has such huge potential for peaceful, um, peaceful coexistence. There are many initiatives aimed at facing this common big uh, issue of uh, working towards uh, improving relationship between Christians and Muslims at all levels. And uh, the center, which has been uh, she has been the brainchild of my friend, uh, Archbishop Idu Ferran. is a very interesting and important one, based precisely in Kaduna. And uh, the location in Kaduna is itself not uh, by chance. We all know the importance of Kaduna as far as Christian-Muslim relations is concerned, uh, both from a positive point of view, since Christianity and Islam have been flourishing in that town. Kaduna State is like center of the north that is from me not official but i remember that in the history lord lugard was based here in kaduna controlling the whole north if not nigeria as a whole and now i can say that kaduna is a mini nigeria it's not official but you come and see the nature of kaduna state almost how many tribes more than 200 tribes different tribes in the state and uh, it is inter-religious state or interfaith state. Kaduna state, like other states in Nigeria, has had its own fair share of uh, crisis, uh, uh, which often manifests in violent conflict. And um, what we have seen, uh, based on research conducted, is that uh, some of these violent disturbances always have a religious undertone. Uh, but I want to make the point quickly to say that um, in our analysis, religion itself is never and has never been a source of conflict. The manipulation of religion for political elite interest is actually, for me, what has uh, been a major source uh, of the conflict that we've seen. Uh, the other issue that I want to point out is that uh, in, 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 in situations where we have experienced violence uh, resulting from religion, uh, it has more really been related to misunderstanding 
or misinterpretation of religious texts. At this early startup point, because the school is still very young, three years, it's important for us to be able to support a great idea, to, to think through um, the infrastructure that is needed, not just in terms of the physical building, which is very important, but also the underlining philosophical infrastructure. What is this center about? What kind of learning will it produce? What kind of students should it attract? What kind of curriculum does it need to develop? You know, um, how does it begin to change mindsets and enable new learning and connect people together who need to listen to each other? In other words, how does the center create a safe space where peace can endure? We are able to accommodate now 80 students, 40 Muslims and 40 Christians, 20 for the certificate program, 20 for the diploma program, 20 of each of the communities. We had four lecturers and I was paying them a stipend uh, because it's not salary, it's just to say thank you. So the lecturers make their own sacrifice by giving their time and lecturing the students. All I do is to say thank you to them on a monthly basis. But we had to increase the number of the lecturers now to six. And I did put in a request to a Christian organization in Holland, uh, Kirk in Acte. They support the salaries now, or the stipend of the lecturers, and the allowance we give to the students, transportation, so that they will come. No student pays anything here. Because we now want to upgrade the institution, we have successfully acquired a, plot, a property along Canter Road. And what we want to do is to demolish the existing structure on this property and build about three, four story where we will have lecture rooms, we will have a big library, documentation center, a small praying room for Muslims and for Christians, and then to have a sort of accommodation so that we can host guests and make some money because we don't want to continue uh, to beg for the center to sustain itself. Our vision is to have about 20, 30 room accommodation which will run as a guest place. And then when I'm dead, I'm no longer here, <laughs> the center will sustain itself. Our estimate is between a half a million and one million dollars to complete this project. It's an honor also to be able to tell the story of why the center is very important and to reach out to well-meaning citizens and friends of peace globally to support this initiative because it is a one-of-its-kind idea. It is not about a degree. It's not about a certification. It's about a learning, a life learning that we all need to have, regardless of you know, where we might be coming from, whether we're lettered or we're not so lettered, as long as we're lovers of peace. The Kaduna Center is, is, is open and welcoming to all kinds of people.